<laughs> I don't know. In days where it's cowboys and aliens, where westerns are animated and the sheriff is a chameleon, what does a man do for a classic piece of the Wild West? Well, he goes east. East of Pretoria. More specifically to the Diamond X Cowboy School for their fine as cream gravy ranch program. I was asked to do a shoot with this new guy. Jonathan. Whatever his name is. And what better way to break him in than a dude ranch? I don't need breaking in. <laughs> Simple wait, they're live animals out here. Well, a little secret first, I've always wanted to be a cowboy. Like, from, until I was in about high school, my first six birthday parties were cowboy and Indian parties. So, I've got a very special spot for cowboy, cowboy movies in particular. So when I arrived here, I felt like, oh, this is great. I'm walking into the set of a cowboy movie. It's perfect. When I got the phone call to say that, Simba, you and Jonathan are going to a cowboy ranch. I had all these expectations in my head. And when we got here, it's exactly what I expected. The chickens, the cows, the horses. And we walk in, and there's Watson. A classic cowboy. That's Watson Mjuli, a.k.a. Wolfman, a veteran horse riding showman. You think Simba and I have what it takes to become cowboys? We have got what it takes. We have come to your right place here. Because we don't care whether you know how to ride or you don't know how to ride. Everyone is welcome here at the Diamond AX Ranch. We teach everyone from ground, from the start. Even if you're a nervous person, we help you here. Well, we dress the part. Let's get started, eh? <laughs> Oh, this is great. What's in straight to the horses? Yeah. Cowboy style, eh? Not yet. Just need to clean the stables first. Clean, clean the stables? Clean Here's the, the shovel and the rake. So you take the broken one. <laughs> smells beautiful in here. <laughs> the place had a really bad smell. Jonathan walked in there. Typical city slicker. <sighs> now I know what these are for. <sighs> you gotta put this on. And Simba seems to be very comfortable shoveling manure for some reason. I don't know why. As if it wasn't bad enough, then he decided to chuck some all over my fancy cowboy outfit, which I was so proud of. Right in the mouth. Thanks. <laughs> Guys, it's done. It's clean enough. Well done. Well done. Thank you. That's what I signed up for. Next, to suss out their hand-eye coordination, some cowboy yik's game. Watson, what's going on here? Okay, this is your first challenge for today. This is called Worcester Tossing, okay? I want to see who's going to be the better cowboy for today. A good cowboy deserve a good eye. First task, the horseshoe tossing. I thought, I've got this in the bag. Only problem is, I didn't have my contact in. And that's not just an excuse, it was the truth. Good way to start, nice and easy. Just chuck a horseshoe, well, not that easy. You'd think it would be easy, but I don't think we got one on the, the pole once. But we hit the pole a couple of times. It was pretty close, but I took it in the end. This is the lesson, okay? Just tell you briefly about uh, the history of it. It was discovered in ancient Egypt, it was a weapon of war. The lasso was very technical, actually. You wouldn't think swinging ropes above the head, but it's actually incredibly technical, especially the coiling of the rope, I think it's called, but it's, it, it really is quite high grade. And um, I think you'll probably see that Simba and I both struggle on that one a bit. Ned sometimes bug people, eh? You must watch out now. <laughs> Ned. Is he, uh, holding for you? <laughs> Ned, the wooden horse, is like the mascot for this place. We get on there, he's like a relic. Hop on him, I'm trying to get this lasso onto this cow, and it's just not working for me. I had enough times, so Watson was like, listen, you've got to get off now. And I just hopped off immediately, but as I'm getting off, the seat starts sliding. I grab onto Ned's neck, I break his neck, <laughs> I fall off. I, I was so embarrassed. At least I didn't decapitate the horse. Yeah. I won that one by default, probably a good thing. I don't think I would have been able to less you that, that little cattle thing. Ladies and gentlemen, no animals were harmed during the filming of this episode, okay? <laughs> this doesn't bode well for the actual horse riding. I'm thinking horse riding is just hopping on with the saddle, get going and, and you sort it. But it's a little more complicated than that. I see you're doing some groundwork here. Yes, we're going to do some groundwork, okay, because you're going to get on the horses. So we, all, everything we do it on the ground before we get on, on the horses. So we call it a pre-flight check, okay, to make sure that your horse is ready. When's the last time you were on a horse? It's been a while there. Eh? I'm fine like when I'm galloping in a straight line, but when it comes to steering and all that, that's where I'm struggling. The last time I was on a horse, I fell off, so I'm glad we're doing this pre-flight check. Should we get started? Uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go. Eh? That groundwork was amazing, the joining with the horses and everything. I've never, never done that before and there's that like, connection between you and the animal. It's quite incredible. Down, boy. Okay, that's as calm as you're getting. That's as calm as you're getting. Up again, up, up. We've got this, we've got this. Up, 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 up. 
There we go. And it wasn't as close to my horse as Simba was, but he took it a little bit far with the whispering and everything, but, you know, each to his own. We can't be losing to that man over there, okay, because this show ain't big enough for the two of us. We've got this, don't worry. Simba's looking terrible in there, he's looking very clueless. So good, he doesn't know what he's doing. Simba, how did it go you in there, brother? You so good in there, man. Yeah, man. You've got it. No, rhinestone's got this. Yeah, it looks like it. Ready to go? Uh, absolutely. I'm watching you, boy. These are called quarter horses for their speed over a quarter mile. Now, I'm a pace man. I used to run 110.2 seconds. So that barrel race, that's where I live. I spoke to Ryan Stoner, whispered in his ear. I said, Sim, we're going to do this. You're a champ. You know, we were prepared. I mean, it was like Usain Bolt, like Jamaica. Then as Jonathan gets going, I'm thinking, he's slow. I've got this. I'm reasonably comfortable on a horse when you, which is, is running in an open field. But when it comes to the actual steering of the horse, I've never been that comfortable. He's going the wrong way! Yeah, but it's the wrong way, wrong way! <laughs> <laughs> my horse took the barrel turn a little bit too tight and smashed my leg about twice into that barrel, which was pretty painful, but I try to hide it because I'm supposed to be a cowboy. Jonathan got it first time. His horse was listening to him. But I think they gave me like a, a faulty horse. I think there was something wrong with, with what's his name? Rhinestone? Something wrong with that horse. Go! <laughs> he's jogging. He's, he's trotting the whole way. He's got, he's got the direction right at least. Eh? Yeah, he's got the direction right. Yeah, that's the one thing. Uh, Simba's a great presenter. He's not a great cowboy. <laughs> he, he can ride a horse slowly. He trots very well. He stays in the saddle kind of well, but, uh, he, but he's got attitude on the horse, which is a good thing. So he carries it off. But no points for being a diva. <laughs> we say it's unfair. Five seconds. He knocked the barrel over and he went the wrong way. You wanted you to trot add, the whole way. Add some seconds there. <laughs> it's not fair. Come, let's go. Right. <laughs> Check the attitude of his horse. It's just the same as Simba, exactly the same attitude. Maybe it would impress the herd. This place has everything you expect from a ranch. And the next setup was the cows. And I'm very comfortable with cows. You know, my grandfather had a farm with lots of cows. So I thought, this is my task. This is the one I'm going to win. Okay guys, you've done very good so far. I've got a small head of cattle here that you're gonna do cutting now. You're gonna separate one cow, okay, from the head. Okay. All right. I went first last time. It's okay. your turn now. Let's go. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Herding cattle from the open ranges of Texas up to the railroads in Kansas was the one skill a cowboy had to have on his CV. And cattle don't respond to charm. Okay, Simba, you need to go a little bit slowly. I went in too fast. I scared them all a little too much. And they all just bolted off. And after like 10 to 15 minutes, eventually I got one away. But I kept chasing it around back and forth and back and forth. And eventually I got it in the corner for about 20 seconds. And I got it right. I've been watching for the last 10 minutes. Nice. Let me show you how this is done properly. Yeah! I think the cattle cutting I had a, an unfair advantage because I got to watch Simba do it for a very long time. So I got to see what not to do and how to do it. So I think I, was, I had a bit of an unfair advantage there. So I knew how to, to cut the guy off at the end of the pack and get him away. So thanks Simba for showing me how not to do cattle cutting. <laughs> okay, well done, well done, well done. It's not me. You see how it's done. What's the big deal? But you see, it's unfair. You got to watch me and see how it was done. I did get to watch you for a very long oh, time. Oh, so. okay. He's cocky. <laughs> I think you need a drink, brother. I think you need to get off this horse. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Pain. That's what's behind the cowboy swagger. And they knew just where to find relief. Now I know why they walk like that, eh? Why don't you take off your dress and end this little tea party? Oh, okay. Baki. Simba talked a hard drink. But could he swallow one? You, <coughs> kid. You, me, stand off outside now. Are you sure you want to do this? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. okay. You guy! <laughs> the West wasn't one through barrel runs or cattle cutting. It was one through standoffs. So I challenged Jonathan to a standoff. And we walk outside. The sun is about to set. Who would blink first? The pale rider 
or all crazy-eyed Yosemite Simba. Billy Bob once told me, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. He ain't got no chance. They'd each seen this look before, in the eye of annoyed girlfriends. This guy doesn't stand a chance of I've cowboyed him the whole day. What is he thinking taking me on in a draw? But when we had to draw, I was the first one. Really? I shot you first! Dude, you're the new guy, get down! I shot you first, get down! Apparently, that's the law of the West. This is what it feels like to be the new guy. Jackie, welcome to the team, bud. 